The summer wind came blowing in from across the sea. Hey guys, it's Jonah here once again, and we're doing another experimental brew. Um, well, it's not that experimental, um, but my recipe is a bit experimental, what well, I have to say. Um, so what am I doing? Well, let's have a look down here. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, there we go. What do you reckon that is? No, it's not dubs, it's not the old skunk. Mmm, lovely, lovely stuff. This is rosemary. And I've been reading a book, which is over here, Booze for Free by Andy Hamilton. Um, you should get a copy of this book, it's quite good. And he does, I don't know if you guys can see in there, you see that? Rosemary Ale. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. There we go, there's the recipe there. Um, I'll just read it to you. Um, malt extract, rosemary, water, a bit of sugar, golden syrup and yeast. So, easy peasy. And look what I've got here. Big bag of Moncton's uh, Brew Enhancer. Now, I know this has got malt extract in it and sugar. I'm not 100% sure of the, uh, the quantities, um, but it's definitely got both in. So guess what? I'm going to put some of that in instead of having malt extract and sugar separately. Yeah. So what's first? Experimental brewing, don't forget. Well, have a look down here. Whoop. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Can you see that? Big pot in there. Just coming up to the boil. And we've got rosemary sprigs and water. Now, in Andy Hamilton's recipe, it says 10 sprigs of rosemary and something like 13 liters of water. 10 sprigs, I mean, come on, dude, you've got to do better than that. So what I've done is I'm going to go for a one gallon batch um, and I've added an ounce of rosemary leaves. So what you do is, or what I did was I cut them off the sprig. Let's grab one. I'll show you. Okay, there is a rosemary sprig, yeah, and can you see it's got like um, a central, there you go, can you see that at the bottom? It's got a twig basically, and all these little green things coming off, a little bit like a Christmas tree, yeah. Um, so what I did was I cut them off with a pair of scissors and then put them into that boiling, uh, boiling water. Anyway, next part we're going to add the malt or the malt extract and sugar mix to the water. Let's see uh, see what that looks like. Okay guys, um, that's been bubbling away for 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes they say in the book. And I don't know if you can see, you can see this line down the middle of kind of this scummy stuff and it's been coming throughout the whole boil really and I've been skimming it off. Um, there's not that much of it left. I'm going to flame out there and what I'm going to do is add my Moncton's Enhancer um, so that's one kilo yeah, of this stuff and I'm just going to chuck it straight in that is not too bad. Usually you get this weird sort of, it's got a bit of it, you get this little bit of crispy stuff here. Knock that in as well. Now this thing I got from Wilkinson's um, and Wilkinson's, hey you can see me, yay, is it having a sale at the moment. So hang on, I'll do that, that's much better. Yeah Wilkinson's is having a sale so I managed to pick up a kilo of malt extract mix with dextrose for um, three pounds, which is pretty damn good. The rosemary seeds were free, so it's just going to be whatever's in that bag plus my yeast. That's all I'm paying for. I'm going to get eight pints for three pounds fifty, four pounds. 
So we're looking at 50p a pint. Shama on, that sounds good. Right, I better do a bit of stirring on this beast. So all I'm gonna do is use a spoon that I've soaked previously in star sand, and I'm gonna give it a bit of a stir. This is pretty boring. So you guys won't have to wait because the next section is coming up very, very soon. Okay guys, um, I was stirring that stuff for probably about five minutes and now it's in a sink of cold water just cooling down um, until I can put it into the bottle. The other thing I've done, if you can have a look around here, is I added one Camden tablet, or Camden tablet some people call them, to this bottle. Um, small amount of water in the bottom of the Demijohn. Yeah? Funnel's sanitised, the Demijohn itself is sanitised. You might be able to see, if you've got really good ideas, it's sitting just at the bottom dissolving. Why have I done that? Well, although I boiled um, all the rosemary leaves, they might have picked up some sort of foreign um, particles and foreign yeasts and stuff. So when I put it in, I'm going to leave it overnight with the Campton tablet in there, um, just so it's going to kill off any wild yeast. So when we pitch the yeast, we're going to get a nice uh, ferment going. Yeah. Anyway, guys, it's going to be a bit of difficult, um, but the next time you see this, it's probably going to be full up. So there we have the OG. And to me, it looks like it's sitting at 1.082. Um, you, might, you could call, meet me halfway and say 1.080, maybe, it's possible. But I'm here and you're not, so I can see what it says, really. However, that is fucking high. Oh my god. OMG, that is sky high. This is going to be one strong brew. And that's why I've decided to christen it the Bride of Frankenstein. Because it's a bride ale after all, uh, made with rosemary of course. Guys, I'm going to leave this overnight, this bad boy. Um, and then we're going to pick up with pitching the yeast tomorrow morning. And we'll see how we go. For you, it will just be a click of fingers. And here we are, the finished product. Um, as you can see fermentation started so I didn't add the yeast uh, straight away I left it with the Camden tablet in there I added the yeast in the morning um, and now we are the next day um, and look at that big old fermentations happening what I did however was I used the wine yeast because the uh, the OG was so high um, I thought I'd use a wine yeast instead of an ale yeast. So, that is rosemary ale. I'm going to call it Bride of Frankenstein because it's going to be a bit of a monster. And we'll see how, um, how it turns out. Anyway, guys, hope, um, hope you like this video. Um, sorry I missed out a few of the parts, but um, I hope you understand. <laughs> and we'll have a tasting video to follow soon. Take care guys and happy brewing.